Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to do this horroristic, blurred out kind of text in Photoshop. This had been inspired from Poster Grind, uh, you know, who dropped this video. Uh, and a while ago, you guys had been asking how to do this effect because I also featured some artist uh, designs who did something like this. And I didn't know how to do it, so Poster Grind one day just dropped this video and i was like finally i gotta find out how to do this stuff so it was the process was amazing so yeah let's do this okay first thing we're gonna make is select the text which is located right here i'm gonna go and type in the same name vision from panther vision press ctrl t if the text is too small press ctrl shift plus alt to scale it up so this font is champion champion it's called there you go so you can download it it's for free so the main idea is to choose something thinner so this font has a thinner version why because we're gonna add some effects we're gonna add some stroke we're gonna add some more stuff so it's gonna make it more thicker so just double click on the font layer and select the stroke and put it on outside so usually it's on inside and put it on outside the size i gone with seven and the color also should be on black as you can see you can pick the color which you used click ok and click ok again i'm gonna create a white background with a solid color i'm gonna pull this up there you go now it's white i'm gonna bring this solid color down and press and hold shift and select both layers right click and make you know convert to smart objects and now we're gonna add the effects from the filters so we're gonna go to the filter filter gallery go to the sketch which is located right here click on the stamp we're gonna play around with the smoothness of the letters okay so as you can see here this is smoothness if I bring this down, it's gonna bring it back to the original size. If I bring the smoothness up, it's gonna make it thinner and it start to, you know, mold the letters together, you know, the letters start, start to melt together. So I'm thinking to mold them somewhere around here. There you go, to connect here and there, it's pretty cool. I don't know, this won't make any difference anyways, so <laughs> just click OK. Go to the filters, click on pixelate and crystallize okay so the crystallize should be you know you can zoom out with the plus minus I'm gonna zoom out a little it shouldn't be too big you know I'm gonna bring it down to I don't know five or six something like that we're gonna blur this out a little so go to filter again go to blur and select Gaussian blur so don't put too much, I put it on 1.7, click OK. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna apply that special effect, that special blur effect from the filters. We're gonna go to the blur gallery and we're gonna select the field blur. So this is that magical thing which basically creates that effect. So I'm gonna put this here and as you can see, if I pull this gonna make it more, more blurry now I want to make this area not blur not blurred out so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pull this back zero and as you can see some space is blurred out and some space isn't blurred out so I'm gonna put another one here decrease the blur And you also can click on it and drag it you know if I drag it you can see it blurs okay I'm pretty satisfied with this I'm gonna click here okay all right from here I'm gonna create a what is that solid color it's gonna be black click okay I'm gonna uncheck it go back to the text layer go to the select click on color range as you can see with the eyedropper tool which is located right here click on I'm gonna click it and select from here the black and here is the fuzziness which is basically distorting the whole text you can see the previews in here so I, if I pull the handle down as you can see it's gonna make it thinner and thinner if I pull this up it's gonna add more and more to it so why this effect that because 
these areas where we added this blur and this texture and we mixed it in we're gonna remove some of the part from it and make it a little bit sharper you know make a more specific kind of effect from two effects we're gonna create another effect so I don't know how to explain it but it's somewhere on there I'm gonna bring it like on 150 I'm gonna test it out I don't know how it's gonna be click OK as you can see it selected this uh, areas so it doesn't select the default i'm gonna activate the solid color and click here on the mask press alt plus backspace from here we're gonna deselect this so press ctrl d so now it's deselected and press ctrl i to invert now uncheck the original uh, text here and as you can see it removed some of the effects a little bit if i'm gonna check it again you see more stuff going on and these areas are a little bit more sharper before it was like pretty, pretty blurry so it it made it more specific you know it's it's better this way a little bit more so anyways i'm gonna click on this gonna press and hold alt and gonna go down here to this little plus where you create the new layer click and this uh, window is going to pop up. I'm going to rename this noise. Going to add some noise. We're going to go to the overlay mode here. Select the mode, go to the overlay. So when I go to the overlay, we can check the fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray. So if it's on normal, you can check it. So I'm going to go to the overlay and check this. Click OK, then go back to normal. All right. From here, we're gonna go to the filter, noise, and add noise. Go with 17%, click OK. And from here, we're gonna change the profile to vivid light. As you can see, if I change the vivid light, it's gonna make it more grainy. And I wanna add some more effect, more noise on this. So I'm gonna click to the noise layer and drag it down to this little plus so it duplicates the layer. And we're gonna change change the profile to hard light. So right now it's a little bit too strong. I'm gonna decrease the opacity to I don't know somewhere around 30. 30 is good for me. And the last thing we can do is add some textures. You can go to onsplash.com. Poster Grind also men mentioned a really good website, which is texturelabs.com. I just downloaded the, this texture from here. He also used it. So, anyways, I just dragged in the texture which i want to apply on the text and i'm going to change the profile from let me check there you go light you know if you if you select screen it's going to burn it a little more if you select the light i like it on screen so yeah you can add like more uh textures you can try it out mix it up mix it up and see what what is going to happen mostly this was it and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with updates and also check out the other videos have a good one bye bye